Hey guys, I'm Destiny from Guns Gear and Fitness and I'm at SHOT Show 2015 and here's another update from Nonstop SHOT. I'm here at Benchmade's booth and I have Derek who's going to introduce us to some of the very many new yes. products you have for the year. There so, is a lot. Right. So what are you like? What are you, what are you most excited about? Uh, gosh, where do I start? So Destiny, there's a lot of stuff that we're coming out with this year in 2015. Uh, I am very excited for our Jungle Bolo and Jungle Clip Point. These are one really caught my These eye. are some really cool fixed blades that we're coming out with. You know, um, we are. So if you're not familiar with the Benchmade, um, just how we structure things, we we have three different classes: gold, blue, black class. We actually classify this Bolo as a as a blue class, like an everyday uh, outdoor types of knife. Um, blade, I should say. A lot of brush clearing in mind. Um, possibilities of someday maybe being kitted out for jungle warfare. You never know, but it is definitely a very useful uh, brush clearing tool. It's made of 1095 spring steel, so it's definitely be able to take some shock. Uh, the Santa Preen handle is awesome. It's basically uh, like a rubberized texture feel. Um, very tacky, uh, wet, any sort of uh, situation, you'll be able to maintain a good grip on it. So that's also important, especially when you're swinging something this big and heavy. Uh, comes with a leather sheath, and uh, yeah, no, we're excited for it. Its uh, counterpart, of course, is a clip point version, so a little more straightforward, clip point style. So 1095 as well, same Santa Preen handle. Um, yeah, we're very excited for these, especially. I'm excited to take one home and personally, like you know, just prune some trees in my it looks in my like yard. Great for camping too. It is great for camping. It will be good. It's a good chopper. So like if you need to chop through anything, maybe make some kindling, good blade to do that with. Um, moving forward kind of towards the bush crafting side, camping, outdoor style. Uh, we did, the 162 came out about two years ago. This is an updated version. This is the 162-1 EOD. So uh, we were hanging out with some EOD specialist who actually used the original 162 to cut C4. Oh, um, wow. Yes. So. They wanted an updated version that had a Kydex holster, or sheath, I should say, and um, just tan handles was something that we added to it because it kind of fits that whole you know, uh, group of people who do EOD work. Um, but it is our same Bushcrafter knife, same thick piece of S30B steel, um, offers, a, offers a edge spine, so it helps you still spark a flint if you have to spark a flint. Um, and is a pressure fit, Kydex sheath, very good, very grippy. And uh, for me, I'm a lefty, so it technically is reversible. So you could carry it on the left hand, as opposed to the leather sheath that came with the original. Uh, you could only you know, wear it on your right side. Uh, moving forward, back to the Benchmade line. We have, uh, this guy is really a beautiful knife that we're excited for. So I'm gonna play with that. Full carbon fiber handles, that is the 484-1. Uh, it's really light. It is. That's the beauty of carbon fiber, right? So it's super tough. Crazy light. Um, like the 940-1 that we launched last year, this is kind of a play off that with the carbon fiber handles and the anodized, uh, the blue anodized accents. Uh, this one we added the little anodized accent piece to the pivot, which just kind of sets it off. It's right there, you know. And then Inside the liners there. And for this, the original 484 was in a M390 steel. We did this one in S90V. So like the 940-1, it's that super tough steel that has great edge retention. Um, it is a beautiful stone wash, flat grind uh, on, on the blade. And it's a beautiful Nakamura design. So he's, you know, designed some gorgeous knives for us. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna check out that one a little closer. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Put that on the list. Oh, absolutely. Um, also introduced this year is a, is a new gentleman's folder. So very small, kind of a compact knife design. Like it, an executive EDC. It is an executive EDC. Well, you know, we basically took the axis lock, miniaturized it. You know, this knife, we don't intend people to be hammering away on it, using mm -hmm. it as like a survival knife, you know. This is definitely for your practical everyday type of use, um, opening boxes, just practical normal cutting stuff where you're not like, batoning this or anything like that, you know. Um, great little EDC, great uh, gray G10 with a little accented G10 backspacer, um, and M390 steel, which is one of our premium steels, which offer great corrosion resistance, edge retention. Um, M390, of course, you, you can sometimes find it in surgical steels uh, for surgical cutting tools. So we're really excited about that. 
Um, I'm not, this wasn't out last year when you stopped by, but we're excited about this. We actually launched this in June. It is our 5400 uh, dual, axis dual action. So it functions as a regular manual knife, but in addition to that, we have a auto function that is built in. So basically you pull the axis bar all the way to the, the furthest position and it'll fire off an auto nice. function. So it's like a hidden auto function. Um, 154cm steel, G10 handle scales, and uh, just a beautiful knife. Just very practical, you know. So would that be in the blue class? Or what? This is actually in the black class. And um, the cool thing about this, autos, usually a typical auto, they don't have thumb studs. If the spring fails, your knife won't, is pretty much, done. it won't function, mm -hmm. it's done. This one, if the mechanism actually, the, the auto function mechanism actually fails, it'll still function as a normal manual folder. So, for those people who are, you know, that. want things that are overbuilt, that have backups to it, you know, this would be the knife for that. I'm guilty of that on more than one occasion. <laughs> um, this is a cool new offering that we'll have, is a G10 push button auto. So you don't see autos often in G10, or just purely G10, or at least push button ones. You see access ones that we've done, like the Adamas, but uh, this one's a push button one, very thin in profile. Really 154cm steel, just a really light, cool knife, especially if you live in a state that permits you to carry an auto, um, this would be an awesome EDC in my personal opinion. I was just going to say, it looks like it would conceal very nicely. Yes. This guy is actually now out in the wild, but we consider it a brand new launch for 2015. It's the 761, so classic, classic knife design. Um, however, just combine it with modern machining and modern materials. So it is a full titanium handle scales with a titanium monolock. Uh, M390 steel blade. The cool part about this is we're offering, uh, instead of typical like phosphorus washers, it has what we call a thrust bearing system. So it's basically ball bearings in the place of what those phosphorus washers would be. And this knife just opens so smooth. You have to try it. May I? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah it's extremely smooth. That's exactly what you, what you <laughs> said. There's, uh, there's a difference between like, hearing you say it though and feeling it. Oh, and I see a, a liner lock. That's yep. Just a very elegant knife, very thin in profile, smooth, you know. Yeah, elegant is the word I Try guess. to keep it classy. That's beautiful. We are excited about that one. Um, this is, of course, with the ambidextrous push button, our 6800 APB in our black class. Features 154cm steel blade, aluminum handles, and of course, a little carbide glass breaker. You know, a little multifunction in there. But uh, yeah, we're excited about this mechanism. It's gonna be versatile, it's awesome. And uh, especially for us lefties, you know, it gives us a push button option. Yep, we're excited for this one, this new model. It is a addition to our out the front family of knives. Of course, if you're familiar with our Infidel, our uh, 3300, it is, you know, the creme de la creme of out the front knives. Nice refinement, beautiful millwork. Um, this is an addition to the family and fittingly we are calling it the Pagan. This is the 3320 Pagan. Yes, right? Uh, our new out the front mechanism. So uh, actually same guts and internals as the Infidel. So you get that same reliability and robust, you know, out the front mechanism, uh, but just a lot of subtleties that are a little different. So the blade is a different profile. It's actually uh, a, what we call chisel grind. So it's flat on one side with no bevels. Um, easy to sharpen too, because it is also 154 CM as opposed to D2. So. I love you that know. D2, but oh man, you spend an awful lot of time on that. Uh, Take it, if you do it on stone. a stone, you're yep. going back and forth for days. Yep. This one will be a lot easier, a lot more friendly, on top of which you're only doing one side. You're only doing one bevel because it's a uh, chiseled ring. Um, it's beautiful. The body work as well is the handle material. I mean, the handle design is just, it's very smooth. It's very ergonomic. It's just, you know, a rounded out, just kind of more, I wouldn't say, I'm almost say maybe a more refined version of the Infidel, but, you know, still not the Infidel is the thing. But um, the beauty of this knife is it does come on a little lower price point than the Infidel. So cool. somebody looking to get into the uh, out the front that is bench made, this is definitely a good option. And um, yeah, we're, we're just very excited for this. Yes, you, can, you can't only do it once. There's, it's like a, a, there's a cool factor involved with a knife like that. There really is. So just, just um, being honest. <laughs> we're excited for this. So hopefully get one in your hand someday soon. That would soon. be awesome. <laughs> Uh, moving on, let's see, we got, um, we are excited for this. This is our new water knife, actually. Ooh. So we've done a, a dive knife, water knife before um, in a fixed blade. Um, what kind of steel are you using for it? We are using N680, so it's a saltwater rated yes. steel. 
Uh, sandpring handle, so it's good rubber texturized uh, material for a handle. Slippery conditions, especially if you're diving uh, or in any just wet condition. In the wet conditions while you're diving? What? Right? What? Weird. I never heard of dry. <laughs> but the big thing that we didn't, uh, that we improved upon, is the sheath. So the, okay. the mechanism of how it deploys, oh. just a lot smoother, very positive That's clicking. Um, so it offers our opposing bevel, strap cutting hook, rope cutting hook, however you want to call it. So very reminiscent of our triage knife, um, which, is one of my favorites. which is an awesome blade. And it's the same steel. Yes. We just added the, the hook into the blade and it's put in a fixed version and offered a very premium sheath that go along with it. So this is the 112 H2O fixed blade that we're very excited for as well. Uh, going into combat folder, new to our black class is our 808 Loco. So features a canted handle, uh, very comfortable, very ergonomic. Um, especially in a reverse grip. If you were in a situation like that and had to do that, it is comfortable for that. But on top of which, I mean, it comes down to it. It's a knife. It's a very practical cutting knife to do daily, uh, daily tasks. So great EDC. We did add some custom hardware features to it. As you can see, our pivot, a uh, little custom pivot, a little custom uh, axis bar yeah, liner there tear. Nice too. Yeah, just, just a lot of detail work to this. Um, this is so S30V. Uh, these are G10 scales, correct. Yeah, so it's, you know, it is a heavier knife, but the G10 scales actually help reduce the weight. If we did it in aluminum, it would probably be a lot heavier. But, um, yeah, no, it's a great knife, and surprising how big it is, because of the canting, it sits in your pocket and rides really easily and well and comfortably. You know, the Domus is a big knife. We, we make no, we, yep. we're trying to make no illusions yep. about that. It's a big knife and it'll take up a lot of real estate in your pocket. And it feels like a big knife. This is a big knife, but doesn't feel like it in your pocket. So, um, very cool new blade, the 808 Loco. And it's S30V, awesome steel. All right, so back at, uh, back in June again, we launched this guy. This is the 757 Ooh. Vicar. It is a liner lock knife. Is that a Cybert? It is a Cybert design. Do you notice the Cybert cues in it? Yep. So uh, we're, this is a titanium liner lock knife, so it offers Another one actually of those beef, -tacular, beef -like. tacular, very overbuilt. I mean, it's just Shane Seibert, Shane Seibert to you know a letter makes yep. things that are just big and overbuilt, and um, we love that about it. They're ready to do work. Yes, exactly. Very thick titanium liner, I believe uh, nine tenths of an inch, uh, so it will hold up. A S premium S thirty V uh, stainless steel blade and a nice stone wash. I love that stone wash finish. Yep. It's just a lot of Shane Seibert cues, especially right here. And um, that partial fuller. And, yep, partial fuller, very beautiful looking. Yeah, that's just a signature of his yep. almost, isn't it? That was my guess. That between the <laughs> wide belly and the partial fuller, I'm like, I wonder. Good call. You called it right. Uh, stack G10 handle, so you got the black G10 with the green on top. Very tactile, very comfortable grip. So we're excited. This is a cool knife and um, titanium pocket clip in addition to that. So a lot of titanium. Yeah. It's going to be a sturdier, heavier folder. It is a big guy. Um, earlier I showed you the ambidextrous push button auto. This is the ambidextrous push button assist. So it functions just like a normal assist. You have to deploy the blade about uh, 15 degrees or so, and then the spring nice. takes over to launch it. It's a very, you know, same size, very robust uh, mechanism that is the ABP. Um, but you know, with the G10 hand, combined with G10 handles, this is a lot lighter than the auto version. So, especially if you live in a state that doesn't permit you to carry an auto, this That'd is a nice state. option. Not allowed to have oh, so, yeah. Uh, so I have to make do with the spring assist. So uh, I appreciate that. But this one will be fun. This is a good knife. It will be a great everyday carry. Um, 154cm, big beefy blade, uh, but not too big again. You know, the weight wise, it doesn't kill you on that. Let's see. So HK, which is also part of the Benchmade portfolio, we're offering a lot of new models as well as color variants. Um, you know, Flat Dark Earth is a new black. Everybody <laughs> says that at SHOT Show, right? Uh, we it certainly has its following. <laughs> it does have its following. You may, may or see it once or twice a year. Uh, we are offering a mini version of our HK Axis, which we launched last year. Um, so more, we wouldn't call it a gentleman's folder, but more convenient, everyday, smaller carry compared to the larger version. 
Yes, easier to conceal, a little lighter in the pocket. You know, especially when you reach into your pocket, if you keep multiple things in a pocket, like your like, cell phone uh, or keys. You know, with those tiny little girl pockets that you can fit hard, can't fit hardly anything, and that that would fit nice. This would fit very well, as opposed yeah. to the larger version of it, which is very big and robust. But Flat Dark Earth is a new color offering we offer in the HK line uh, for that. A new out the front, uh, this came out in June actually, but this is the newest color variant of it, is the 814808. Uh, it's out the front from HK, so made in the same factory as all our Benchmade products. Um, just single-edged D2 steel out the front knife. Super thin in profile, you can see that. It's super tiny. And we took a lot of cues in the design from uh, HK, obviously, since they're a partner of ours. You know, if you ever look at a slide on a USP pistol, the serrations oh, might cool. mimic a little bit of that and give you some reminiscence of that. So, very, very cool. It's, it calls homage to the name, you know, the, the brand name, too. Uh, also new from HK, we are very stoked on this one. This is a sub $100 American made fixed blade. So you get D2 steel, Santaprene handles, great carry system in this sheath. It's a injection mold sheath, lots of different carry options, angles, um, but under $100. I believe MSRP is going to be $90. So street price, you might be able to find it a little, a little under that. I think we might have covered just about everything. I think everything, we did. There's for that little guy. this guy. Little is not how we describe this guy. This is the HK Faint. It is a new large fixed blade, so it's kind of in the same vein as the Benchmade uh, Bolo, Jungle Bolo, and Jungle Clip Point. This is definitely made to be a chopper. Um, it is made of 440 steel, uh, 440 C steel. Uh, features a over molded rubber handle uh, with a great palm swell too so it's very comfortable use it for good chopping uh, comes with a drop uh, drop leg sheath uh, I believe nylon is what it's made of well, so yeah the, the very thorough introduction yeah. I, I will definitely be posting some more uh, more content on some of these and I look forward to working with them sounds great well, thank you thank you